Hi there, just wanted to give you a heads up on our week of prayer and fasting coming up in the new year, uh, our 24-7 week of prayer starting on 5th of January. Um, Jesus says, without me you can do nothing, but he also says, with God all things are possible, which is a great encouragement to pray, pray particularly that men and women in our city and across the world come to know Jesus as their Lord and Saviour. So each day in this 24-7 kind of seven prayer week, we're going to be sending out a video like this one, just to give you a heads up and a bit of a focus on what to pray for. Please feel free to pray for, for anything, and we'll send some information out, um, some prayer points, but it'd be good to have a kind of a focus each day for us on our mission, um, some aspect of our mission, vision and values. Just to say a little bit of word about fasting as well, we want to encourage those that are able to if, if, if you're able to consider fasting, fasting is a great way of expressing our, our deep need of God. It's putting aside kind of our normal appetites and saying, God, I need you. I, I want your presence. I want your kingdom to come. Um, if you want to know more about that, we've got some booklets uh, so you can pick up one of, one of those and have a read. But uh, I do encourage you to think, think about that and express ourselves to God in that wonderful, wonderful way. Um, we're going to be using the 24-7 model of prayer, so I know in the past we found it so helpful to kind of cover the whole week, every hour will be a different slot of prayer and different people can book up. This time we're not going to have a particular room that you, can, you have to go to, you pray wherever you are, but I think it would be really helpful just to kind of have that sense of doing things together and covering the whole week in prayer if we uh, do the 24-7 kind of thing. There'll be, uh, you can sign up, I've got a link that uh, we'll give you, you can sign up there, sign up for a particular slot, maybe individually, maybe with your life group, um, running partners, however, however you want to do it, but uh, do sign up, let's see if we can cover uh, the whole week in prayer, that would be great. We'll also have some meetings where we kind of gather together, uh, we'll have something on the, on the Saturday as we start and the Friday as we finish and there'll be the, of course the Friday morning prayer meeting and we'll maybe do something in the middle of the week, maybe a lunchtime on Wednesday so we can gather those that were able to get there and uh, just continue to pray together through the week. Um, so that's a heads up really about what's coming up after Christmas. Don't wait till then to pray, of course. Please be praying in the meantime. Paul writes to the church in Ephesus, pray in the Spirit at all times with every kind of prayer and petition. To this end, stay alert with all perseverance in your prayers for all the saints. Pray also for me that whenever I open my mouth, divine utterance may be given to me so that I will boldly make known the mystery of the gospel for which I'm an ambassador in chains. So let's pray over the next couple of weeks, but particularly let's come back uh, after Christmas to start the new year with a real solid week of prayer together to plough the ground in preparation for all that the Lord is going to do amongst us in 2019.